Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Satyajit here and you are watching Satyajit's artwork. In this video, I am going to discuss about a topic which is, you know, kind of controversial because a lot of people uh, have different take on that particular topic. So, I am going to basically give my input regarding that thing and it is about uh, how does it actually feel when you are coming from a traditional art background and then you are shifting to digital art whether it is really difficult or what are the pros and cons of having a traditional art background although in this video I will not actually focus on the cons because I don't find any or if there are I think those are negligible and you can certainly cope up with them so I'll be rather focusing on the you know bright side of the things and I will just try to give my inputs on those particular uh, observations and the experiences that I had while coming from a traditional art background so I feel that uh, art is not what we see on the paper or on the canvas in this particular case on this digital canvas. It is what is an accumulation of whatever I have learned over the years and I personally feel that the basics of the art remains the same and it's not only about the technique that we implement while painting or drawing it's more about the thought process that goes behind in creating a art for an example in this particular illustration or digital painting whatever you wanna call it uh, I just approached it in a very traditional manner like I could have approached it in a way where I, I would have uh, preferred going by the norms of digital painting or digital art like I will just sketch out a basic outline a rough outline after that I will fine-tune those outlines and then I will just go with so, some texture brushes or sometimes maybe with flat brushes depending on the outcome that I want to get in my work so what I basically mean to say is that it's all dependent on your outcome and when you have traditional art practices over the years in that regard it becomes really helpful in my understanding that you get to learn and understand things beforehand whatever you are doing you are doing it very purposefully like in this case I approached this illustration in a very loose manner because I wanted this particular thing to you know end up looking like a work where my brushworks will be visible so I approached it in a very loose manner from the beginning and as you saw I just didn't map out the outlines and all those proportions and everything from the very first I just felt like that I am doing a very expressionist kind of work where I will start from the mass and then eventually I will you know accumulate things together so that I can reach to my destination so whatever I have said you can see a point here is that I am not basically thinking of digital medium or digital art I am basically thinking of my outcome and I am thinking of my all previous observations and experiences with the traditional art mediums like I am considering this more like an acrylic or oil painting where I am laying layers upon layer but the thing is that I am not making this decision subconsciously what I am doing I am doing it very consciously because I want to reach a destination which I want so these are the things which are very essential creating a piece of art uh, doesn't matter whether it is digital or you know traditional so I feel like that from my observation if you have traditional art practices then it is certainly going to help you rather than creating problems for you yeah it's true that you need to learn a few uh, techniques and all these things but 
if you are approaching it in a more traditional manner then i feel like that more than techniques it's about your brushwork your previous experiences and uh, expertise with handling the brush maybe here i am not uh, dealing with a physical color but the use of the brush is very important because each stroke you are going to put in this particular painting is creating an impact in the outcome uh, so it is more about a thing which is done more consciously rather than coming out of thin air you are just making all these decisions in a way where you planned out the things previously and you are just trying to follow that rule so i feel like that if you were approaching a digital art in that manner then uh, it's certainly going to be uh, helpful if you were coming from a traditional art background and um, uh, although i just uh, mentioned that if you are uh, going for some other techniques or some other styles like if you are uh, doing vector art in that case maybe you need to uh, fine tune your techniques and you need to change your approach from the very beginning but what is important is the approach the way how you want to approach so for those who are actually shifting from traditional art to digital art there will be many people who will say that digital art is different you can't actually implement all those ideas in digital art my dear friends i feel like that digital art is much more forgiving than traditional art so if you have a skill hand with traditional art then it's certainly going to be easier for you in digital art and uh, as you have seen the basic understanding of composition the basic understanding of anatomy everything remains the same so i feel like that it's certainly helpful so i hope guys this video was informative and if you feel like that uh, my work is worth appreciating then please uh, support my work and uh, just hit that like button show some support man it really helps because it takes certain amount of effort in creating this videos so if you really want to support me and uh, you want to appreciate my work then please consider subscribing to my channel if you are new here I'll try to put a lot more of this sort of videos where I'll just share my thoughts and observations regarding different things. Thank you guys. Hope you will do well with your art.